is Fox 5 News at 10. When the News at 10 continues, how a local group of wounded warriors is not letting their disability stop them from living life. Back after this. A group of wounded veterans out on the water today. Kicking off their competitive rowing season, Fox Spies' Lauren DeMarco was there along the Anacostia River. It's fantastic. Um, the, the wind, the water. A hot, windy day for the Stonewall Regatta on the Anacostia River. Go, Jason! Come on, let's go, guys! Any rower will tell you it's a rush that requires strength and endurance. On the water this day, a source of inspiration. Adaptive rowers, including a group of disabled veterans participating in their first races of the season. Since I've been hurt, I've, you know, I, I thought the window was a lot smaller of, of things I could do, but turns out there's just a whole world out there. Navy veteran Dan R. is in training, working to qualify to compete on the U.S. Paralympics team in the World Championships. He may not have the use of his legs, but on the water, he flies. In this first race out on the water and come away with a win in your first race, it's a, it's a good way to start the season. Fellow trainee Paul Hurley also served in the Navy. He lost part of his right leg after an injury in Bahrain in 2006. For a while I wasn't working out and I, you know, I found myself like sitting in my room just getting depressed all the time and it's just, that's not healthy. And you know, it's, it's great. I got, I got friends around here I can hang out with and it's just, and it, it's taken me all over the country too. In this regatta, Hurley competed against able-bodied rowers in the doubles race. In his boat, there'll be three legs pushing. The other boats, there'll be four legs pushing. But you know what? He usually beats them. <laughs> Let's go. Hustle, please. The coach of the MedStar NRH team is a disabled veteran himself. Patrick Johnson works with the athletes year-round at Walter Reed nice and job, makes sure they have the specialized job, boats that they need to compete. And connect. So that way, a rower who has a spinal cord injury or any other disability who can't use our, even our amputees who don't have legs can still row. He's recruited local high school crew stars to help his team train. When they win a race, it, it's, it's the best thing to see. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know, it's just amazing. This is a blessing in disguise. It's, it's brought me all sorts of great opportunities and stuff that I never would have imagined. You know, it's, there's, there's good and bad days, but you really just got to kind of look at the positive and everything and just kind of keep pushing forward. In Southeast Washington, Lauren DeMarco, Fox 5 News.